We're coming to try and find Mvula again. Maybe we'll get lucky for a third time. So I went to uh, the spot where we had him uh, this morning after game drive. We actually came back out uh, to see what he was getting up to. And I have an interesting story to tell you. So can you believe it? 10 minutes after Taxon and I left the sighting, so basically just after uh, the end of drive, we stayed for another five minutes and then we moved out. There was another guide, a Harley, he was coming into the sighting, but we didn't really want to wait and we knew he wasn't going anywhere, so we thought it'd be quite easy for him to relocate. So he did, he arrived into the sighting and 10 minutes after being there, Mvula leapt down the burrow because there was a big warthog that was trying to come out of it and he tried to grab it. And then it ended up being Mvula, zero, Warthog one. Can you believe it that that Warthog actually took him on and managed to shake him off and he d raced straight back down uh, into underneath the ground basically. So it must be quite a big tunnel and tunnel system underneath there that that Warthog was able to. Now, when we eventually found him, we actually found him walking towards us on the fire break slightly west. He had an injury just on the inside of his arm and then also on the side of his neck, just a little gash. And I think it was because of those razor sharp uh, tusks that of course warthogs have. If any of you have ever had the opportunity to feel warthog tusks, the bottom ones are exceptionally sharp, like steak knives. So very easy, just a, a quick throw of the head would be enough to slip straight through a leopard thin skin. They haven't got tough skin like rhinos and buffalo and elephants have. Much thinner, so easier to get hurt. So that's quite interesting. And he gave up. He eventually, he moved off. He didn't go in for a second time. He learned his lesson. He thought, this is obviously too big for me and very feisty. I'm an old man. I need to look after myself. And we followed him and he was still looking for something to eat. And he came down in this direction, just a little bit further from where we are now. We are at the, uh, one of the old hyena den sites as well, just off in Vubu Road. And he was looking further west, so towards that drainage line. Now, I haven't seen anything just yet. And it doesn't look like there's anything here, but he could be resting up. 